So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, just follow your steps. That's all you're simply doing. The only thing difficult in the last problem was just doing your algebra, which was um, basically just remembering a lot of those steps. But as far as these steps, you replace f of x with y. That's step one. Step two, swap the variables. OK? Now, um, I will note when you guys have a um, square root, a lot of times we want to talk about our domain. Um, so we'd say x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. In like the problem, that's something that would have been presented to you. So it's just, um, just one thing to note. And the range would have been, eh, we're not going to talk about that here in domain. Um, but anyways, so now we got to solve for y. Well, y is being added by 3, and you're, um, it's under a square root. So following the order of operations, what do we need to undo first? Square root. So how do you undo taking the square root? You square. So you have to square both sides. So therefore, you're left with x squared equals y plus 3. Now, how do you solve for y? What do you got to do now? Undo, sub subtract 3. So your final answer is y equals x squared minus 3. Then all you do is replace y with f inverse. And that's it. So a lot of these problems do not have um, a lot of hard steps. However,